The storied past of the Goose Village in the southwest region of Montreal, Quebec, demolished in 1964, still harbors fondness from the people who once lived there and called it home. It's quite astonishing that more people do not know about it than do. Once a proud home to Irish, Italian, Polish and Ukrainian immigrants, the Goose Village in Montreal no longer exists. It used to be a vibrant neighborhood that was decimated by urban development in the 1960s. But Professor Marisa Portolese has brought its forgotten history back to life. Through oral histories, uh, what I've learned is that people had a deep, deep affection for the Goose Village. The Arciero, Diorio, Cadiz, Mazzone, Pichet, and Zaleski grocers were family-run businesses. Then Expo 67 happened, and they wanted to build a sports arena, and uh, so they, they sent letters to all the residents that owned property, asking them to leave, and so people had to leave, and then they demolished the neighborhood. My name is Domenico Portolese. Nata Mamala, Provincia di Reggio Calabria, a come to Canada, 1953, for better life. This area that we're looking at, where I'm standing, is where my family first settled when they came to Montreal. Portolese's parents were also among the residents of the Goose Village, officially known as Victoria Town back then, which is considered Prince St. Charles today. And when the neighborhood was torn down, they were all forced to move elsewhere. Their voices were disregarded and ignored during these decisions that were made by the city of Montreal. When the Goose Village was demolished, it was erased from all Montreal maps. People don't know about it, and it's a really important part of our patrimony and our cultural heritage for all of the years that it existed, not just when the Italians and the Irish lived here. It was a, you know, a working-class neighborhood that had a, uh, that a lot of the people that living in that neighborhood contributed to society. Portolese's long research project culminated in a book that pays tribute to a neighborhood of the past and its community. The thing that's most important is that the book will live on. So another way of uh, preserving those memories and preserving the community. In Montreal, Teresa Romano, Omni News.